Well, good day. We are in uh, West Seattle today, just touring the Alki Beach area to show our friends something unique that you won't find in Houston. This is the Alki Beach in West Seattle, overlooking the uh, city of Seattle on the other side. Uh, you've got the, uh, this is the Puget Sound. This body of water is called the Puget Sound. You've got the Olympic Mountains in the background, snow-capped, and city of Seattle on the other side. Apparently somebody thinks this is good weather for sure. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were gonna say <laughs> Okay, so we are on board the uh, King County water taxi which uh, ferries people between uh, West Seattle and downtown Seattle for $5.75 each way. Uh, the trip is normally 15 minutes. It's a pedestrian only vessel. Uh, so the cars, they have to go around the freeway to go into I-5 if you commute into Seattle every day. This would be an alternative, although it's costly about $11.50 a day to live or park here in West Seattle. Okay, we just uh, came from the uh, King County water taxi. Now we are walking through the Seattle waterfront. There's a lot of new structures here that even I have not seen. They were built the past two years, like the ferry terminal over there. All these improvements, there's a new fire station over here. I just gotta commend the city government and whoever is responsible for all these improvements. They have bike lanes, dedicated bike lanes being built to make Seattle more pedestrian and bike-friendly city. Inside the uh, Pike Place Market Mall area. Look, there's more shops downstairs. Okay, here we are. Oh, no. Eating chowder. Yep. Here we go. Seven kinds. Here are seven. So, I'm back here in West Seattle after uh, having uh, went through Pike Place Market, did the Pike Place tour with uh, the guests after taking the water taxi right there. You can see it in the background. Nice beautiful day, lots of people walking around, but I'm gonna be driving from here all the way to the Seattle Center area to meet up with them to continue the tour. So here we are at Seattle Center, third stop on our little tour. Uh, standard tourist areas are West Seattle, Pike Place Market, downtown Seattle, and then Seattle Center. So you can see the Space Needle Chihuly Glass Museum.
Okay, the next stop on our itinerary is this place called Cary Park. It's got a uh, perfect view of the Seattle skyline, Space Needle foreground with the uh, downtown buildings and then Mount Rainier and the harbor. So really, it's an even better view than you would get if you were in the Space Needle. So we are in the Green Lake neighborhood. Uh, this is the fifth stop after we pass by the Amazon Spears. We are just showing our friends around the Green Lake area. And we're gonna stop by Duke's Fish Restaurant over here on Green Lake Avenue, near Green Lake. So here we are at uh, Duke's eating our uh, snack for the afternoon. Looks good. Jam up one. We're hungry. So it's the next day on our tour of Seattle. This is the Fremont Hypermart or Fremont uh, Flea Market on a Sunday. So we're gonna see what they have to offer. Okay, let's go. This is so cool. Google has a base over here. getting to taste some of the authentic food. This here is a beef empanada from the Mexican food stand. And of course I have some, like a bubble tea kind of thing. Try it out. So that empanada turned out to taste uh, really good. It was a Mexican empanada. We will be heading to Discovery Park to do some hiking towards the lighthouse. No trip to Seattle is complete without uh, visiting the Seattle Fremont Troll, which sits under Highway 99. There it is. Sits under Highway 99 and it's a big tourist attraction. So we're over here at Ballard looking at the uh, one of the trolls that was installed here. There's five of them in the Seattle area. There's one of them in Ballard in front of the Nordic Heritage Museum. National Nordic Museum right here in Ballard. Market Street and 28. As they go to different levels. Ang ganda nandun na sila sa level na ito. Pati sila may elevator. Oo, parang elevator. So they still may visitor center and gift shop. So no visit to Seattle is complete without stopping by the Ballard Locks where you have the fish ladder and the locks, the ship elevator. This is the Hiram M. Chittenden Locks. Carl English Jr. Gardens over here in Ballard. The ship canal is divided between the section that connects to the Puget Sound, the section that connects to the, the lakes, Lake Washington.
All right, so we are at the Discovery Park. We're doing a short hike towards the lighthouse, the most western tip of the park, and you get a view of the Puget Sound. So right now, we're on this trail. We're gonna end up in the street, follow the street, get back on the trail, and then we'll be there. Here we go. Okay, so a few minutes later, about 1.4 miles, we have arrived here at the beach. And yes, the lighthouse is within view. Of course, we could have just driven and parked here. So we chose to walk the 1.4 miles. The journey, like they say, is part of the experience. Here we are, Discovery Park's uh, lighthouse. So we're standing here at the tip of the peninsula where this side is facing southwest and this side facing northwest. Body of water is the Puget Sound. So we came, we saw, and we left. Here it is, Discovery Park's lighthouse. We are on our way back. Gonna make the trek another 1.4 miles to the car after uh, just taking pictures, uh, getting a breather, catching our breath. Cool, another one of those places in Seattle that we've uh, visited for the first time despite being here in this area for about 30 years. Okay, and here we are back at the parking lot where we started approximately three miles, three miles ago. The girls are walking alongside the road and we're gonna go pick them up. There it is, Discovery Park walking to the lighthouse. Well, nice, our car is in the shade. Cool. So any good uh, trip around the city ends with a meal. This time we're over here at Gourmet Noodle House in Chinatown. The food isn't all here yet, but it's coming. Yeah, so that concludes our uh, two days around the city. We will uh, catch you on the next vlog. See you again.